Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing okay out there. As you can see from the title of the video today, I will be doing a hair review on this particular unit over here. Guys, it's a U-part wig. As in, this is my leave outs. This is my whole, my real forehead. <laughs> um, so yeah, this hair was sent to me by Wiggins Hair. It's a U-part wig in the um in the texture kinky straight as you can see um i've literally just flat ironed it just a little bit not too much um so that it can blend in with my hair um and it's in the length 22 inches i'm gonna leave all the details down below um but yeah if you want to see how i got this unit on my head if you want to see um how i got it to blend what i did with it then keep watching so this hair gives me life i'm not gonna lie i haven't had my forehead out in a long time so if i was gonna get it out it was definitely going to be for this kinky strip so i was lazy and i took my meek meal braids and i just took out three braids in the middle and brushed out the edges of my hair so when the hair comes it comes of course in the box um and you get a few goodies with it so i got a bag for the wig i got some eyelashes and of course the wig itself so as you can see um it's given decent quality it is a true 1b guys so if your hair is actually darker than a 1b then you might want you may want to go in and actually color it my hair is true black so i will be going in later on at some point to color it so i'm just gonna cut off the thread there and then i'm gonna tie my hair back and i'm literally going to just clip it in place okay if i could go back and do this again i probably wouldn't leave so much hair out for the leave out um i haven't had leave out in maybe 10 years so um i'm still trying to figure out like what an elevated version of my 2012 leave out would be now um so i just wouldn't leave as much hair out just because you know i'm going to be straightening it and you don't want to keep it protected this hoe is not going anywhere okay this wig ain't going nowhere as you can see okay i've literally got it so secured if you want it to even be more secure i guess you could go in and stitch the edges then you know that this babe is not going anywhere okay so i'm just gonna put some leave-in leave-in no i'm going to add some heat protectors in my actual hair um guys i know it's steaming my hair's fried <laughs> yeah um i actually did nonsense yeah please guys make sure you've got no grease in your hair nothing i obviously took my hair out the braids and i didn't wash my hair and i even straightened it on the lowest heat and look at all that smoke anyway my hair is straight now so i have myself to blame <laughs> so i'm just gonna go in and um straighten the actual wig one thing i'll say about the wig when you straighten it it's not going to give you that full straightened look okay it's literally just gonna flatten the hair ever so little but i'm not mad at it because like i said it's a kinky straight wig you still want to give the essence of kinky hair you still want to give the essence of yakky hair you still want to give the essence of you know textured hair so i'm actually not mad at it um what i will do at some point is actually go in and curl it and see how it takes a curl but i'll probably add some layers to it first before i actually add a curl to it but overall the hair actually is quite smooth you know it, it doesn't not and i'm not mad at it um in terms of my edges i'm not going to do anything crazy because it's technically supposed to be natural hair so i'm literally just going to touch my baby hairs my actual baby hairs i'm not going to create any dramatic baby hairs i'm literally just going to brush the little hairs that i have at the edge of my head and i think that's what makes it look more natural rather than giving yourself artificial baby hairs you know so i'm just playing with them you know i'm gonna lay it with the scarf that they're giving me in the wig package as well and i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna look like a bad bee come on overall would i recommend this wig yes i would if you want to take a break from frontals you want to give your hairline a good break i would 100 percent recommend this i would also recommend it if you just want to try a different texture you know it's not every day uh, peruvian or brazilian sometimes you know do a texture that's actually close to home and i'm not gonna lie i really 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 enjoy the way this wig makes me look um it's like reminiscent of my 18 year old self but an elevated version so once again i'm not mad at it my hairline's getting a break from all the glue wow 
fantastic five out of five yeah so if you liked this unit then i will leave all of the relevant links down below make sure you check out wiggins hair for all of the other units that they have available as well please don't forget to subscribe